discover what's out there. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover probably one of the most anticipated games coming to us this year. The game's director, Todd Howard, tells us that the game is like Skyrim, but in space. The game we are talking about, of course, is Starfield. Now, Starfield is being released November 11th of 2022, being released for PC and Xbox X and S only, but it is coming to Game Pass Day 1. The genre is action-adventure RPG, set in space, of course. A developer is Bethesda Game Studios, and the publisher is Bethesda Softworks. Now, it's been a long time coming, but Bethesda is finally bringing us another original RPG that's a new IP, but this time set in space. Now, the game's art director explains in an interview with PC Gamer that a lot of Bethesda's games are, of course, about exploration. However, he goes on to ask uh, the ultimate exploration question. You know, what is out there? What's past Earth? In regards to Starfield, the game directors also tell us that it's going to kind of be like Skyrim in terms of the structure of the game, where you're going to be who you want to be, and then there's different factions that you can join and really carve your own path. It appears we will have two major factions within the game, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective, which are at an uneasy peace after a recent war. Now, we also get some information about other factions in the game as well uh, that we could run into, including the Ecliptic Mercenaries, Pirates of the Crimson Fleet, Violent Spacers, and a group of religious zealots, just to name a few. Now, along our travels, there will be many different areas to explore, of course, and these areas will range from a pleasure-known city known as Neon, New Atlantis, which is the capital of United Colonies, Aquila City, the capital of the Free Star Collective, just to name a few around the settled systems. Now, the game setting puts us 300 years in the future and takes place 20 years after the Colony War. And as the player, we assume a role within the organization of space explorers called the Constellation. It also looks like we are in for some serious dialogue throughout the game. Now, during an interview, designer Todd Howard mentioned that Starfield will consist of over 150,000 lines of dialogue. Now, anyone that's played Fallout 4 knows Bethesda likes their dialogue, but it appears that this game will go even above that. One other thing that I really like is the technology detail that we've seen so far in the trailer and that has been mentioned to us by the dev team. Now to keep the game feeling futuristic, but yet still recognizable, Howard visited SpaceX for inspiration as well as doing research to help keep the game familiar to gamers. Now we can also see in the trailer many of the buttons and switches uh, that we're used to seeing in today's cockpits, yet still has that advancement look to it as well. Now there is some speculation out there about the game that could be true or could be wishful thinking. And one article states that each planet is larger than the entire Skyrim map, which would make this game crazy big. And another article speculates that spaceship combat could be a thing in Starfield. They go on to tell us about certain details in the trailer, mentioning references to weapons, missiles, and shields that we see in the ship's console. Now, spaceship combat sounds good to me. So we don't have a lot of information about Starfield just yet. It is kind of early, uh, but I'm sure that will change as we move closer to the November release date. Now, we should have high expectations for this game, not only because it's been in works for many, many years, but also because of what Bethesda has brought us in the past in the form of Fallout and Skyrim. Now, I'm looking forward to getting more information on this game as we move closer to the release, and I'm sure you guys are as well. Now, to enjoy the full trailer. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Engine 
mission. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch.